Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the SMA Journey 51 series. Okay guys, today I'm going to be answering question number 8 in the Practical Problem series. And the question goes on to read. I have SMA and I'm 45 years old. I live alone in my own apartment with the help of 20 hours a day of assistant care. My greatest challenge is maintaining enough staff and even the challenges of assuring people make it into work as they're scheduled. How do you maintain and obtain your staffing? Okay, so this is a great question, but for me to properly answer it, I'm going to have to break it up into two separate questions. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video on the steps that I took hiring a living caregiver that stays with me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. But this user or subscriber has somebody coming into her home for 20 hours a day. So I would probably be willing to bet it's about four people that are working five-hour shifts. And this is something that I looked at whenever I started looking into somebody to help me. But it wasn't just me that I was concerned about. It was also my father. Because at the time when my father was still alive, he was in his late 70s whenever I started needing help. And he already had been uh, diagnosed with congestive heart failure, and he was showing early signs of Parkinson's. So the assistant care was not only for me, but it was for him as well. So I tried finding somebody to come in for a certain number of hours a day, and I had two or three people doing this. The only problem is people are going to call in sick. It's inevitable. It is just going to happen. The agency that this subscriber is using probably has 20 other patients that have the same needs as what this subscriber has. So it's not just her four employees, it's also the other people that are probably facing the same problem. And this is a problem that you're going to face when you have people coming into your home for a certain number of hours. Unless you've got the money to either live in a, a permanent care facility, which, let's face it, is probably five or $6,000 a month at the best. And I've seen some that go ten dollars or $12,000 a month. So we're all going to be facing this need as we get older. So that's the reason why I chose to have a living caregiver stay with me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And tomorrow I'll detail how I did this. But for this subscriber who's having people come into her home, the only thing that I can tell you is try to have a good relationship with your agency. Let them know that you're having problems. And if they can't find people that are, uh, say, a little bit more trustworthy and more dependable, go with another agency. There are hundreds of agencies that are doing this and you can find another agency. You know, and I know it's difficult for these agencies to keep people, but then again, that's their problem and not yours. You have enough to worry about, let alone trying to handle all of their problems. So keep your head up, you know, keep a smile on your face. And like I said, if this doesn't work, you may look at getting somebody permanently, and it may not be as expensive as what you think. Watch tomorrow's video, and I'll detail exactly what I'm talking about. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I answered your question. If I did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow me on my other social media sites. The links are down in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you, and until next time.